What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wynn. And today, man, is gonna be a nice topic. Uh, first of all, I wanna apologize, y'all. I haven't been posting, but that's only because I've been trying to work and trying to find quality content for you guys just so you guys can enjoy the videos and stuff like that that I'm posting. You know, you know, we keep it real here, um, trying to really make this YouTube thing work for you guys, you know? Um, there's some great content out here and I've been always been, I'm always interested to talk about them. And today, man, it's gonna be a good day because today I have a special guest, you feel me? I have a special guest, um, you know, I've known her for a long time. We go way back and we just thought, um, thought about collaborating and we saw a comment on Facebook, I believe, and we wanted to talk about it. You know, I thought it would be a great content. So, you know, as always guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, or even share the video. And you, if you guys have comments and stuff like that, go ahead and, you know, talk, talk about it. You know, put your comment down below and we can have a conversation about it. And always, man, share the video, subscribe, you know. So today, our special guest today is Star Love. You know, Star Love, why don't you just go ahead, introduce yourself, and we're gonna tell them what we're gonna be talking about today. Right. You know? Hi, YouTube. My name is Star Love, Amy Lee. I am a writer and a publisher. Mm. And today's topic, as Wendy stated, was found on YouTube. It is, I'm sorry, on Facebook, and it is dating someone with kids when you don't have any is really settling for it less. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> just the wording of this makes this thing a little juicy, to be honest. Um, let me just go ahead and say this right now. I don't know a lot of people who are single mothers, but I do know a few guys who date single mothers. All right, so this topic, I'm gonna look at it from a man's point of view. It's only gonna be opinion, okay? These are not facts or anything like that. This is just gonna be my opinion. This is gonna be her opinion, you get what I'm saying? And these are not facts or anything like that. If you agree with it, you agree with it. If you disagree with it, all fine. You know, go ahead and comment below. Um, just keep the comments clean and very well presented, uh, presented to the viewers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, man, like, I'm gonna just say this, man. I'm not from, uh, my parents are still together. Um, I didn't come from a single mother or a single father. Um, I don't know too many people um, in my family who are single mothers, um, to be honest with you. And there's nothing wrong with that if you are a single mother or a single father, you hear what I'm saying? But um, this is a great topic to t talk about, especially in the black community, you hear what I'm saying? Especially in the black community, I think it's very important nowadays that as black, uh, as black people, we come together and talk about these things, right? So. How about I just go first and right. you know give mm -hmm. my point of view on this specific statement on Facebook. Dating someone with kids when you don't have any is really selling for less. I want to say selling for less, but as a man, I think as a man, if you can avoid it, do so. I'm gonna I'm say why. I'm gonna say why. If you can avoid it, do so. All right. This is because it comes with a lot of issues. All right. It comes with a lot of issues when dating a single mother. All right. And and and, and when you are a man, a single man who's dating a single mother, you know she's gonna have, of course, the child. The child is the first thing, first priority. Which is understandable. That's her child, you know. And if you are gonna date somebody with kids, you have to understand these things. All right, you have to understand these things and understand that her child is gonna be first. Okay. Another thing too, there's gonna be some issues with the father, obviously, right? The father, you know, the father. You have to get to know. You have to have great relationship. Some problems. There's some conflicts. That could happen with the with the child or with the child's father. You know, the, the mother is always gonna be involved with the child, father, all right? They're always gonna be communicating, all right? They're always gonna be talking, 
And always, there's always, I don't care what nobody says, there's gonna be always some type of feelings there, deep down. So if you're a man, if you're a man, <laughs> if you're a man, be prepared for that. Be prepared for that. But if you're a man, you gotta be prepared for that. You know, there's all, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stay with that for now. But there's deep, it goes deeper than that. But for now, I'm gonna stay right here. You hear what I'm saying? So, what do you think? From a woman's point of view, right? Some things that you have said do relate to women as well. Mm -hmm. It is hard mm -hmm. dating a person with a child, right? Because majority of their time is with the child, and it's going to be hard for them to mm -hmm. come up with time to spend with you, especially depending on the custody. Absolutely. Yep. So let's say he is dealing with a single mom and she has full custody, then it's going to be tough right. for her to make time mm -hmm. for them to do things. So that's a big thing. Um, of course, you're going to have to deal with the other partner. partner. Right. And I would say it could be a good or bad thing depending on how their relationships are. Mm -hmm. If they're at a good co-parenting stage, then it would be safe for you to date that person. But if it's toxic, he can't stand or she can't stand you dating someone else, they threaten to take the child away from you, get away. Mm -hmm. Cause it's not good, for, it won't be good for you as the person with no child, it won't be good for the child. Absolutely. Cause now, even though that's not your child, you have to think about the child. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, um, she's threatening to take the child away from him if she dates me I can't do it right because the child needs both parent in the household all right is it really settling it depends <laughs> I would say it's it depends. always <laughs> it depends on what it is. like if you just if you just decide to date this man because you can't get nobody else or you just date this woman because you can't get no, she's the first one to offer you some coochie or something like that then you're, you're just settling okay in a way for in a sense for women too you can't go on dates but so far this man is the only one giving you attention you just want to go out with him he's spending money on you you know that's settling all right it's a big big settling for men it's just different uh, huh Dating, yeah the, the committing to a single mother mm -hmm. is is very it's very different when it comes down to men and women Why because because the qualities that a man looks for in a woman is different from the qualities a woman looks for in a man a man looks for you know the viable uh, if that woman is cooperative beautiful you know successful and and, and um, just without a child period some men majority of men want if not okay it's not all but most men want a woman that ha don't have a child already. You get what I'm saying? Right. Most men, because what's the most, I always say this, I always thought about this. Kevin Samuel says this, I don't wanna always reference Kevin Samuel, but he does have a point when he says that the most viable thing that a woman can provide to a man is a child. Is most true. men don't wanna enter a home that's only, was only built by another man. And let alone, like it could be a broken home. It, with the minute, there's a, there's, there's a single mother and the man is not around, it is a broken home, mm -hmm. right? And most men, that's a big red flag for a man. When a man is interested uh, in a woman and she hear, uh, he hears that woman have a child, you came from a nine to a hard six. That's like, it puts down the woman's value. Right. Absolutely, okay? It can be hard to hear this, but I'm gonna tell you from my from what my friends, um, what we talk about. Like I said, you know, I have friends who have dated women with kids. They they don't they don't have any attention of keeping the relationship very seriously. They don't want, they don't think about the future with that woman. They just want to have sex. That's it. All right. That's why that's why it's very difficult for women to find a man that's very serious because men sometimes men I see men you know date women and they, they just like they date women with um kids and they're not really thinking you gotta think about financially financially what you're gonna do for that woman with that child That's because serious. yeah because because you gotta think about you women always say oh the father's gonna be around the father's taking care of him no man look 
You, you go into a relationship like this and you committing, you got to be ready to take all the accountabilities, all the responsibilities with that child, whether the man is around or not. Because what if the man is not around? It's life, you know, the father cannot work one day. What if the father got, uh, God forbid, get hurt and he, he can't work no more? Who that responsibility fall on? It's going to be you, correct? Now, I don't know about dating, but when you enter marriage, you take on that responsibility for that child. Okay? I don't care what women say, oh, I will take out my, my, my child. You don't need to worry about it. No. You got to think about putting that child to, through college. You got to put, that's, that's, another, that's a liability. Absolutely no benefits when dating a woman with kids. Absolutely. Okay? Because that's a, it's more of a liability because you got to pay for that child education. You got to, you got to really, really work on your parenting skill. You can't come if, with a different parenting skill. You got to try to equal with the mother parenting skills. Two different parenting skills. The mother parents the child one way, the father that's coming in, stepfather coming in, parenting a different way, arguments, no, that, I don't teach my child this, you shouldn't teach, teach my child that, a lot of conflict. I think it's better if you could avoid that while you are single, just go, you know, I think it men, if you come out of college, you want looking for somebody to date or somebody to um, have an experience with, I think you should definitely go for somebody that's equally yoked, that's single, and build that life with that person. Have that experience, whether it's positive or negative, because there's a lot more baggage when it comes down to dealing with somebody with a child. Right. That is true. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of it's what he said when it's different for men and women. Yeah, it that is, is true because the way you know men think and women think. And I would say this: I don't have children, right? But I'm dating someone with a child, not to give you guys much information, but this is coming from someone with a standpoint. Mm -hmm. I was always the women that would say, I can't date a man with a child. Right. Um, but I was, you know, dating around. This guy kept approaching me, so I was like, okay, let me give this guy a chance because he keeps trying and trying. I was like, okay, right. let me give him a chance. We've been on dates, and I see that he's a great father. And one of the things that I want in a man is one that's a family. Right. The one that's there for his kids, not just one that works and then just ignores and not come home and ignore the kids. Okay. One that's physically there with his kids, doctor's appointments, drop him off to school, special moments like that. And he's, he's that kind of guy. Okay, can I ask you really one quick question? I don't mean to cut you off, but why? Okay, don't you think you can find out with somebody that's single? I can. Mm -hmm. I can. That is okay. true. I can. And that, the way that he was, like for him, I think his was like a quick answer. Okay. Without me ha without me having to produce a child to figure it out. Okay. His was like a quick answer and um he's you know, he's a great guy overall. Okay. Great father. Um it is hard dating someone with kids and as women we crave attention. Mm -hmm. So when you Absolutely. date <laughs> when you date a, a someone with kids, the kid has their attention. Right. So just like you said, guys when they're looking for a woman, they look for the woman who's gonna Mm -hmm. who can they can see part of the child's life mm -hmm. and I've learned that the way he the same way you're vetting for him you know because we try to vet out for a good person that you want to be with the person you want to be with is the same way that he's vetting you but much more deeper right because you're coming around someone he considers very close mm -hmm. um so what I've learned because I decided to you know learn more about you know dating parents and stuff like that um ladies and gentlemen you're not here to replace the parent Absolutely. you're not there and that's where we take a lot of fault mm -hmm. you're not there to replace the parent you're you're gonna be more of a friend Absolutely. to the child than a parent yeah, you have to take it very 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 slow yeah yeah and that's what i like about it. Mm -hmm. if he was so quick to introduce me to his kids i'd be like no okay yeah. you see that's a turn off maybe you're trying to replace or fill in the void mm -hmm. but he's very territorial it's like no we, and we talked about it like you know meeting the kids early because that's how i felt too like i can't meet your kids at her let me i have to date you first before i that's how the process goes right and i i, I guess that's where a lot of people confuse it mm -hmm. like no, oh no you you know, you're um, you're dating my kids for a package deal. We understand, but mm -hmm. I'm not dating your kids first. Yeah, I gotta date you, and if I like you more and it continues to grow, 
Then let's go to the kids. Yeah. So we so I can vet the kids and maybe hey, do, do, you know, mm -hmm. is this kid do I like the way this kid behaves? You know, cause that plays a huge role too. Like how do you discipline your kid? You gotta do that. It like it plays a huge role. So for women, and I see that a lot of women do say they don't want a man with a child, and that's completely understandable because we can't find one without a child. Um Compared to men, I yeah, men do think differently. I did figure that out. See, yeah, men yeah. do think differently. Yeah, they because because it's it's and it's, in, in every aspect though, like mm -hmm. in a relationship aspect, I'm like, damn. Yeah, men, we men, we we think so different from women because the values that men look for in a woman, mm -hmm. if that woman is beautiful, cooperative, and is not combative, have that femininity, you know, a man could have two or three kids and still find a single woman. That still is. have so much i'm gonna tell you why is that possible because they have me mm -hmm. <laughs> it's because that men it's not because of good meat but definitely because men can improve his value and what is that money one one most important thing is money because think about it you're gonna go get a get a guy that have kids but he can't really take care of his kids though no. Exactly. That's so, why I was betting too. Right. Like the way he was betting me to see if I oh is I'm worth being around his children. Right. I was betting him to see hey are see if he's actually really good. Right. Dad. Can he be a provider? Women look for men to be a provider, whether you have kids or not. You have to be a provider, okay? Because now because men women tend to look at a man and be like okay he have kids and stuff like that uh, and, and he's cute and that's it and I'm a deal. Sometimes men do the same thing. Oh, she fine. I'm gonna deal her. Kids, I don't care. Next thing you know, you get that one woman pregnant too. Okay, now that's your that's gonna be your responsibility. Okay? Including that child that's not yours too. I'm gonna tell you why. Because if the father is not around, the woman gonna put that responsibility on you too. That is true. Okay? You have to think about these things, alright? It's a lot of baggage, okay? And that is true, because women tend to put responsibility on the non-father mm -hmm. more than men with kids tend to put it on the yes. woman who doesn't have children. Yeah, absolutely. That is true. I, I noticed that. Because like, you know, if a man have money and stuff like that, he have the money, what he what he gonna be looking, he have his kids on his side, what he gonna be looking for in a, a woman if that woman can take care of his kids. If he gonna, if, if that man can, if that woman gonna be able to look like, you know, take care of me and take care of the kids as well. Whether you're single or, or you know, or take care with kids, you gotta be able to produce that, you know? Men tend to look the other way around once they hear that, okay, I established a family already. But it, and it, not only that, it's broken. You get what I'm saying? That family is broken. That man is not in the life, is not there. And then this don't, they got, men gonna start questioning, okay, why that man left? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying, what I'm saying? Like, I know there's some douchebag out there that doesn't take care of their kids and all that stuff, all that plays a role, absolutely. But once you get a child, you have a child by a man, and that man is not in the picture, it's gonna be extremely difficult for you to get a guy that don't have a kid, okay? So now you're gonna be asking yourself, okay, yeah, you're pretty and all, but I could go get, I can go get, go out there and get a woman without kids, with the same quality. You know, there's more men in the world than men, there's men. So you gotta think about this thing, guys. When you're entering a relationship with a single mother, you gotta think financially. Are you financially established? Okay. Or do you have? Are you bringing a certain kind of money in? Because fifty thousand dollars is not gonna cut it. The average men mix that. Okay. The fifty thousand dollars is not cut it to raise two kids. Okay. You need to double it. You need to double it. Okay. It's not gonna cut it. You need to think about your pockets before you take on somebody with kids. You need to think about your pocket while you are a single man. Get your worth up. Because at the end of the day, you get your worth up, you're gonna find all sorts of women out there. I'm not saying that, you know, most guys do pref prefer women with kids because of the fact that they see that woman can put, can take care of the child, have that quality, you know, the quality of a woman that most guys do look for in a woman. But, it, you know, and, and, and yeah, most guys does look for that, but then again, majority of men out here are looking for women that are single. Without no kids, even men with kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even men with kids it's prefer women without thing. a kid. Yeah, same <laughs> thing. Yeah, like like I have a child, right? And I'm in a highly committed relationship, you know. And we have a child, 
right? If I were to be single, I'm not gonna be looking for a woman with a child. Absolutely not. I'm not. Because that brings a lot of issues. That's another child that I'm gonna have to take care of. And now I have to deal with the um, girl's father, custody, all that stuff. Now who's gonna be around my child? Or you get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like now I have to get my money up, get a bigger home. You know, a lot of responsibility not to change my parenting skills. Because a lot of times, there's some men who tap kids' hands. Now, is the mother going to be okay with that? That is true. See, for us women, I know it's hard because we do go based. We're emotion-based creatures. Right. But we have to, when we're dating a man with kids, we have to really look into him. See, for me, I had to put my emotions aside. Because, mm -hmm. like, when it comes to kids, that's, that's like, huge for me. It's huge. Um, like, okay, so I had to, I even asked uncomfortable questions. I had to go in, like, are you close with the mother child? Because I don't want y'all to not be close, because that's not me. I need you guys to have, like, a great co-parenting relationship, because I want to be able to have a relationship with her, too. Right, absolutely. Um, Because I want to be able to have brunch with her when we're meeting, like, you know, I'm going to be around your child. That's how I want it to be. I don't like, that's why I have, I, I ask uncomfortable situations where I'm not going to automatically take his side. Because, you know, there, there's things that's going on. It's not really my business or I don't, you know, put my feet in somewhere where it, it shouldn't it be. It shouldn't be. But I do ask these questions because it benefits me to see, okay, do I, can I, can we continue this? Though I may like you or deep, have deep feelings for you. Will this benefit? Will this bring me a peace or your kids' peace in the future? Because of course, parenting does play a major part in a child's life. Absolutely. So if let's say if they didn't have a great, um, the parents, the baby mama and the the dude in general don't have a great relationship. He starts dating me, right? But she doesn't like me. She's gonna tell the kids stuff. Yeah. And then the kid will keep going back and forth. And then, of course, the kid will feel some type of way about me. And I don't want that. Mm -hmm. So, us women, we really have to think about these things. Oh, you know, just because, you know, she don't like me, she's bitter and all that. Don't, we don't, we shouldn't influence them not being co parenting. Exactly. And that that's like a pet peeve. Mm -hmm. We gotta influence them being good at co parents. Because you're not gonna replace them all. You're not. Or you're, you're never gonna replace them all, ladies. Just know that. You're never gonna replace the mom. You're just gonna be there as a friend. You have, to, of course, like you said, when it comes to disciplining, it is a different different thing. parenting style, man. Different, different parent. Those are things you need to put into consideration. Different parenting style. Um, you know, like I said, you know, when it comes down to benefits, men have absolutely no benefits when it's dating a woman with a child. The benefit goes towards the child, obviously, because there's gonna be two parents now in the household. But when the men, you coming in, how is that gonna, you're gonna invest money into a child that's not yours, that's one thing. You hear what I'm saying? Is that child gonna be listening to your rules because you're the head of the household? Is that woman gonna let you be the head of that household? Is that much woman gonna be com uh, uh, cooperative? Right. Because you gotta understand, guys, when a woman is single, that tell, a single mother, that tells a lot about her too. You know, you're gonna think about why it did not work out. You get what I'm saying? Why it did not work out? You gotta think about it. Sometimes women bring baggage into their emotional baggage into the relationship as well. Depending if they go to therapy, you know, <laughs> therapy, and you know, there's a saying in the black community: people don't think therapy is is this. You right. know, are you guys going to therapy? You get what I'm saying? Did you work on yourself before entering a relationship with a dude? You know? How did you deal with your emotion? That's big. You know? And a lot of guys nowadays are starting to question these women. Starting to uh, really challenge these these women uh, 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 with certain questions. And mm -hmm. you got to be able to answer those questions because guys are not playing nowadays. They're going to work out, walk out on you. Even father. Yeah. I noticed that when I was dating this guy that's a dad, mm -hmm. he was testing me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't catch on to later, but then I'm like, okay, yeah. you know, 
they push it through tests, and I noticed a lot of fathers will do that, but it's, it's, it's a joyful one just to see. Just to see if you have the, you know? For you to be in the household mm -hmm. and around the child. And so one thing that I've learned, when it comes to your, when you're dating someone that has a child, is that you have to have patience. Oh, patience is the key. key when you're dating someone. Both sides. Time. Both sides. For mm -hmm. a yes. Patience is the key. And when you're dating someone who's um, mainly about their child, which is a good thing, because that will show you how they are if you um, decide to continue the relationship with them. You just gotta prepare yourself for those canceled dates because, you know, they have their child where they can't always make up um, the plans that they talked about or they can't always go places because they have their child. So you have to really work on the communication cause, or and work on your patience because if you're not at the point where you haven't met the child, then it's gonna always be canceled dates. Yeah. And that's what I appreciate about dating a guy with kids so that's why one reason why i don't consider it settling because as i stated mm -hmm. he's a great family guy and yes i could find that in a guy that you know single single but he is a faster answer because i've seen and i've seen and i've been watching him just like he's been watching me like how he is around his kids and i think i don't know how i'll go you know with my relationships how who knows i may end up with a guy without kids but um he, the way he tests me is the same way I test him. Like, okay, let me see how you act around your kids. Mm -hmm. Like, or, like how you act around your kids. Like, are you sweet? Do you try to be a man that just like, oh no, suck it up, this and that. Like, how, do you let your kids express themselves? Cause that's, for me, I'm all about letting children express their emotions, being able to let you, to, um, to tell you anything without, you know, you freaking out, coming to you about anything like that. Um, Cause that's how I was raised, and the man that I see that he is 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 kind of like, and I don't really want to compare it, but the way my dad was towards his kids. My dad was an active dad, mm -hmm. and that's why one of my thing is I, is I want an active father. Right. Because my dad wasn't just going to work, come home, eat, say mm -hmm. hi, and then go. My dad was doctor's appointments. He saw was there when I was walking. Anytime we were sick, he would miss work, bring us anywhere. He he didn't miss any little moment in our lives mm -hmm. or any moment in our lives because he was actually an active dad and so when I started to see that in him and my mind you I have not met his kids okay. which is still a good thing which I don't mind and he don't mind because it's still a process yes. mm -hmm. it's still a process that we're comfortable with um it's 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 a great feeling so I don't feel like yeah I'm not settling because I am still dating around mm -hmm. it's not that we're committed yet but I'm still dating around okay all right, so you know, have you guys talked about finances? We have. We have, okay, because that as a woman, that should be a big thing. We you have. You know what I'm saying? And as a as him, as for him, it should be a big thing as well because now if you guys really get serious in marriage and stuff like that, you guys gonna you gonna I'm sure you want your own child, right? Oh no, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and he pretty like that's the thing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another reason why I attract like okay, right. you two kids, okay, you know. If he wants a child, I'll be provided. Okay. But I can't. I don't like talking about how many kids will I have. Right. Right. Because kids, plural, it's all contingent on my first pregnancy. Because I like pregnancy scares me. I'm not gonna right. lie. Right. Okay. 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 Right. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm, I'm. I'm sure you guys talked about this. And if you <laughs> haven't, make it a very, very strong topic. Because when it comes to that. And tell one of the most valuable things that a woman can give to a man is being able to, you know, give kids. Yeah. Um, if, if he want one, just that one, okay, perfect, great, mm -hmm. you know. But if you want more, uh, that's something to really think about. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, man, a lot of guys, there's a majority of men who are successful or well established, do want somebody that can provide a child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you aren't able to do that, that that's going to be an issue.